Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. These are all the things you never knew about Fosho Adeolu. Fosho Adeolu Adegeye was born on May 9th, 1968 to the late Pa Felix Adegeye and Mrs. Adegeye. He went through nursery school in Suluri as well as went to Lady Lack Primary School at Ibutimeta. After then, he went to Asaruddin College in Solo for his O-Levels. Then he did his A-Levels which was HSC back then. High school certificates, then at Baptist Academy. After that, he did a little of journalism and some other crash courses, and he then went to Ondo State University to study guidance and cancer law. As an actor, how did his acting career started? His acting career started with Antalanio and a group in Festac. It was Antalanio who came up to train him at that time. He started as a stage actor before he went to TV. He began his acting career specifically with the 1976 action slash drama film. Countdown at Kusini, a movie on the transition of an African country from colonialism to independence. How was the experience? It was very interesting. It was something that he enjoyed doing. And he was still young at that age. He just wanted to act and it was not about the money. Let's talk about his personal life. Fusha Adeolu got married to his wife Victoria Adeolu in 2005. And they are blessed with two boys. They have been married for 14 years. On when his wife, Funsha said, she gave me a slightly tough time because she kept dodging me. But as hard as she tried to evade me, God always brought us together one way or the other. I can't explain it, but we always met and each time she wanted to run away from me, I was always there to ambush her. Their courtship, they caught her for 8 years. Some people might consider that as a long time. But it was a great period in their lives, they said. It was during this time that... They discovered that they had so many things in common. For instance, she sings and Yasuo does the same. They both love to dance and during their courtship, they were always together. If you saw for sure and you didn't see her, it only meant that she was on her way. She had a very good knowledge of his job because she worked with Tunji Bamishibi. How did Fonshaw propose to his wife? Well, he did not propose to his wife on better knees until then she still tells him that. She wished that he had done that while asking for a hand in marriage. They just saw that they were ripe for marriage and they did the needful. Because they were no longer young at that time. Because Fonshaw Adeolu himself was 38 years when he asked for a hand in marriage. Was there any objection from their families about their union? Yes, initially there was some objections because his wife is not Yoruba, she's from Akwa Ibo, and Fusha himself is from Ondo State. His mother was skeptical about their relationship at first, but he told her that he had made his decision and then she agreed. Now they are all happy together. His wife's parents also asked her why she did not choose a man from their place, but the day they saw Fusha, they changed their minds without saying anything he said was there anything hilarious on their wedding day well he thinks the major one that happened was when they called the groom's parents a mild drama ensued fusha Adelu's father did not marry his mother he has another wife on their wedding day he came with his wife and so when they called the groom's parents his father and his wife stood up but his mother simply told the woman to sit down because it was a day there was no fight between them but that scenario was one funny thing that happened it was because of that reason that he vowed that he would never have a child outside wedlock so that he would not have two women in his life and he promised himself that nothing would break the bond between himself and his wife on the day their, on the day of their children's wedding, they would both be seated as husband and wife. How old is Fushadeolu? He was born on May 9, 1968. He is 51 years old. How does he manage his home with his profession? Actually, it was not easy to manage home with his profession, but he tried his best. His wife is very understanding and he also makes sure that anytime he's not on set, he stays at home with them and he always goes out with his wife and his children. How was his growing up? His growing up was very funny and interesting, he said. He grew up in a separated home. His dad and mom were not really man married, as mentioned earlier, they were just lovers. They played and gave birth to her, so he grew up partly with his father and partly with his mother. Throughout his elementary education, he was with his mom and partly with his dad, but by the time he got to the secondary school, he was with his dad and only visited his mom for holidays. After a while, he started living on his own, but it was interesting. He said for someone that came from a broken home, he might have not ended up the way he did today. He has his regrets. In his words, I wasted a part of my life because I didn't understand I was in the wrong place and I didn't know it was wrong at that time. But when I grew up, I got to a point that I said I wish I had grown up with both of them staying together. It was a negative effect, but it reinforced me, so I decided that I would never raise a child out of wedlock. 
And I made sure that I stayed glued to my wife so that my children would not go through what I went through. Fisher said the best decision he ever made was to be a responsible man and keep his family so as not to toe the line of his parents. The most important decision was to be a very responsible man, very original, that he won't follow the multitude to do evil. I have to be me, he said, that I won't do anything because everyone is doing it. For sure to a lot of people, he's one hard guy who wouldn't know how to manage a home. But he said that he's good at all management and knows how to love and respect women. I respect women a lot, no matter how young she is. I won't sit down to shake a hand. I will stand up. When I was growing up, I was exposed to so many things, so I began to see women like I'm seeing them right now since I was 20. Those things that you see in me that look like a gentleman stuff have been in me right from when I was growing up. I've learned to respect ladies a lot. I don't like hurting them at all. I cannot beat a lady. I'm not a typical Nigerian who sees his wife as a second fiddle. This African mentality makes a man fight his wife regularly, he said. On challenges he faces on a daily basis at work and in his marital life, Fusha has received a series of awards for his contribution in the entertainment industry. He said that the challenges are just occupational hazards, but he doesn't have a choice than to face it and feel stronger. Sometimes it might not even be a challenge at work. It could be at home, family or anything, but I don't usually have problems in my home because my wife is my friend and my very close friend. Once in a while, when I have disturbance from home, once I get to the set, I forget it. It doesn't mean that there are no challenges, but I just like calling them challenges. The actor always seen by some as unmarried because of the way he shoots his family from publicly. I encourage the youth to draw their strength from God. Distinguishing between interest and talent. There's a difference between interest and talent. If what you have for acting is interest, then movie industry is not for you, he said. Also, responding to a question on how ladies sneak their way to the top in Nollywood, Fusha citing the case of Genevieve, may say that it is possible to get to the peak of Nollywood without sleeping with producers or directors. Or why he quits graders and counseling for acting. I never quit, he said. Acting was my main thing before I went to school. So I just wanted to finish school and be a graduate to pursue my dreams. What is his favorite wear? He likes to be very simple. Right now, he likes to wear KMB and t-shirts. And he likes to wear jeans and t-shirts as well. What is his favorite meal? He likes bread a lot and beans. But because he's also married to an aqua Ibon woman, he likes to eat afang soup a lot. What is his favorite music and his favorite music share? He likes any good music that teaches morals. He likes Shola, Lissin, Asha, Simi, and the husband, Adekule Gould. He also likes Lag Baja. On entertainment and politics, for him, why should an actor be a politician? For him, if he's an actor, he's not an entertainer. I want to improve myself, then I want to move from actor to a movie producer. I want to produce a movie and I want to be intellectually recognized. I still have a lot of things to do in the movie industry. So why would I ever say I want to go into politics? By the time you go into politics, it finishes your acting career, except you're lucky. Because you have some people that are already there and they're mixing it. That's why I said it shouldn't be. If you're a politician, you're a politician. An actor who wants to be reckoned with must be straightforward and be truthful. A politician cannot be truthful. They will all lie all the time. Except, of course, some of them that are trying to be actors, but they are still lying. For some time now, Fusha Delu has been uploading videos of himself, carrying out different types of exercises on his Instagram page. And many of his friends have adduced different reasons for his recent preoccupation with being fit. However, when Sunday school reached out to him to find out the reason for the exercises, the actor stated that it wasn't new, rather he has been engaging in exercises for a long time now. He said it is nothing new, I have always been doing exercises, just that I don't upload videos of them on social media. It has been my daily lifestyle for some time now. Everybody has to keep fit, regardless of age. And he said from when he was 13 years old to when he is 30, he used to practice Taekwondo. As a matter of fact, he almost got a black belt and he used to train for a very long time. Now he decided to exercise by doing something that is convenient for him. Majorly to exercise, he dances for two hours non-stop. While dancing, he uses every part of his body. Sharing his thoughts on the current crop of young actors into the industry, Mushadulu said, I noticed that people just come and go within the blink of an eye. I've been acting for over 30 years. I started my career in 1987 and by 1989, 
I was reading the papers. I said to myself that if I could be here for that long, I should be able to help others to have such an enduring career, he said. We have come to the end of this episode on Fusha Dulu, and we hope you learned one or two things about him. Thank you for staying with us until this time. And until next time, remain blessed.